Let's go to Comsec uh, for your look at the first uh, market opening of the week. Tom Petrosky joins us live. Tom, I was uh, reading the Wall Street Journal with interest this morning, suggesting that uh, the stock market could be about to rev up. Are they right? Well, I suppose the uh, conclusion that's being drawn there, Pete, is that we've got a ceiling in place for interest rates for the moment. We've seen that over the course of the last couple of weeks, I, I suppose, when it comes to long and short term interest rates. That uh, area around 5% seems to be a line in the sand. Uh, we had a little bit of a bump higher on Friday as far as uh, moving closer towards those levels were concerned. But uh, really what we saw uh, was a consolidation, Pete, last week of the gains that we had the week before. You might recall that was the best week that we've seen uh, this year for a number of stock markets. So last week we had uh, the Dow finish uh, on Friday up by 1.2%, the S&P 500 up 1.6% and the Nasdaq was up by 2%. So that's really what stands out is that the money is still moves towards those big cap technology names where there's an opportunity. So on uh, Friday, we had Microsoft hit an all-time high, up by 2.5%. Uh, Meta, Tesla and Netflix were all up in the order of around 2%. So that puts us in a good position this morning, I suppose. We're up by a third of a percent in futures terms. So we'll kick off in positive territory. Last week, the market came through with a, a wet sail, so to speak. So mm. it had been through the wars. We saw the rate hike on Tuesday from the RBA, a de facto up grading of inflation forecasts on Friday. So our market was only up 0.2 of a percent last week. Uh, this week's fortunes will really come down to the wages numbers that we've got released on Wednesday, Pete. So that's something to look forward to. Today, we have uh, Macquarie Bank going ex-dividend. That'll be a bit of a weight on the financial sector. And the ANZ will be reporting its earnings later on this morning. OK, the ANZ's turn. Tom Petrovsky, thank you.